Mantle cell lymphoma is a rare disease impacting less than 3,000 patients. So in Imbruvica, a tyrosine kinase inhibitor anti-cancer drug was shown to be an effective treatment. The company wanted to leverage the FDA's accelerated approval program. Imbruvica was one of the first to be awarded breakthrough status by the FDA. However, due to its metabolic characteristics, and importantly, the involvement of CYP3A in the metabolism of Imbruvica, it is susceptible to drug-to-drug -drug interactions. The challenge was trying to understand the mechanisms behind how the drug is metabolized so that the potential DDIs across different patient populations could be understood and used to inform dose and regimen. Sertaris SimSip PBPK simulator was used to gain a better understanding of Imbruvica's PK profile and evaluating the DDI liability. The PBPK models were developed using in vitro and clinical data verified using known inhibitors and inducers of CYP3A, and applied to untested clinical DDI scenarios. Based on results using known and untested CYP3A inducers and inhibitors, SIMCIP PBPK models were able to inform the Imbruvica label and provide guidance to clinicians, including information on 24 individual untested DDI scenarios and provided a dose optimization strategy for individuals. The Imbruvica case study was highlighted in an FDA-hosted workshop as an example of a successful application of PBPK predictions to fill in clinical gaps during the evaluation of a breakthrough drug treatment. The drug was approved as a breakthrough therapy for mantle cell lymphoma, but it is now approved for multiple uses, including first-line chronic lymphocytic leukemia. The approach, managing Imbruvica's drug-to-drug -drug interaction profile, not only expedited the drug's approval, but also sets the stage for further movement toward individualized dosing using PBPK. Imbruvica is considered a blockbuster drug. PBPK is widely accepted and recognized for its ability to inform dose, dosing regimens, and DDIs. PBPK is now being used for bridging studies to establish safety and efficacy in different populations, including pediatrics, the elderly, pregnant women, or patients with renal or hepatic impairments. Quantitative Systems Pharmacology, or QSP, another platform pharmacology approach, is a rapidly advancing discipline that integrates quantitative drug data with systems biology knowledge, such as mechanisms of action. The FDA is very interested in QSP for its ability to address the high rates of drug failure and provide the missing link between target modulation and clinical efficacy and safety outcomes. We anticipate continued advances in both PBPK and QSP to drive more effective drug development practices in the near future.